How's it? Welcome back to the channel. So a quick tip on Dream Recall, and I was just going through this this morning, is that sometimes you'll wake up out of sleep and you won't be able to remember much or any of the dreams that you were having, right? But the main thing is don't give up right there, right? Stay in bed, stay in the same position that you woke up in. Try to keep your eyes closed as much as you can to cut down on distractions. It can also help a lot to have earplugs in, especially if you live in a place like me where there's chickens all over the place, the kids are making noise, who knows what else is going on. But, you know, by keeping earplugs in can go a long way at helping to uh, cut down on that distraction. And then simply just keep trying to recall your dreams. Like what will happen a lot for me is if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm, I'm pretty good. I have this habit built in enough to where I will start immediately recalling whatever dream I was coming out of. But then I'll go ahead and drift back to sleep. And then I'll wake up, you know, later in the morning, maybe like all the way in the morning, like right around um, wake up time. And I'll know I've had dreams at least partially committed to memory from earlier in the night, but I won't be able to remember them. But, you know, just don't give up on that. Start recalling whatever dream you just came out of. Then as you're lying in bed with your eyes closed, replaying that dream, a lot of times little snippets and memories from the other dreams will start to come up. And then you can do the same process of committing that to memory as well. Some other things that can help is shift through different positions that you typically lie in. Because surprisingly, man, a lot of times they'll say like, you know, memories are tied into your body somehow. But a lot of times through um, going to different positions, you start to remember more more parts of different dreams. So stay in bed. You pretty much, at least for me, I got to stay in bed for a good like 10 to 15 minutes just committing everything to memory so I can journal it later, right? Because a lot of times, even if you have it in your head pretty good, you went through the dream once, the act of waking up, you know, grabbing your phone or some piece of paper to start writing it out will cause it to slip. So you really have to spend that time in bed getting as much of it on your memory as you can, and then you can go ahead and write it out later. Of course, something else that works really great too is once you get it decently committed to memory, you grab your phone or whatever you want to do, you put a couple keywords down to remind you about certain dreams, certain parts of dreams, and then, you know, go back, close your eyes, commit it to memory even better. Then when you get up to actually full on journal it later, you can use those little bullet points to help jog your memory and stuff and help you get, um, you know, more of the dream uh, go ahead and uh, written down. But anyway, yep, that's it. Till the next uh, video, keep your dream journaling practice legit.